A group of protesters assembled downtown today to call for a ceasefire in Gaza. Several organizations attended and officials said they want to urge Nebraska leaders and institutions to work towards a peaceful solution and protect those affected here in the U.S. as well. Channel 8's Matthew Mitletter joins us live here in the studio as the protests just wrapped up downtown. Matthew? Protesters marched across downtown to the Capitol today asking the University of Nebraska, our state's elected officials, and other Nebraska institutions to stop investing in the war in Gaza. Officials say it's not just affecting those overseas, but people here in our state as well. While several Palestinian, Palestinians participated in the protest today, organizers say many couldn't speak to the media out of fear of the potential danger to them or their fam families. Some of the participants today are immigrants who came from occupied countries affected by war or colonization. They say it's important to stand up for other families who aren't receiving enough support. I'm here right now because I'm Ukrainian and from Kherson. We're currently experiencing war and we're experiencing a lot of the same things that Palestinians are experiencing right now, which is why I'm here in solidarity and why I have helped organize so many of these marches and demonstrations that we've had in Nebraska. The protest today started outside Pinnacle Bank Arena just before the game. Protesters then marched through downtown, UNL's campus, and assembled at the Capitol. Organizers say the important thing Nebraskans can do to help is just learn about what's going on and hear from those being affected. I'll have more on this story coming up tonight at 10. Thank you so much, Matthew, for that report. Look forward to hearing from you later tonight.